Keegan. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we should just start every show on like a really kind of like chill, right? Like hi. Then again, I don't know. That might not set the mood for the night, so maybe not. Perhaps not. Uh... Perhaps maybe not. I don't like that idea anymore. I like that on the fly idea switching. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Uh, hello, everybody. Sam, you want to introduce yourself? I am Sam the Bomb. Avid Weiss player and card game player in general. And I... <laughs> it sucks because Bushiroad, like, their stuff, like, their card art is just so awesome. And I was looking at Monster Collection today, just, like, just a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. And now I'm all like... <sighs> now, now you want to play that, even though the game probably sucks. I know, God... Dude, I'm telling you, Legend uh, of the yes, Five I Rings. Love white shorts. Right I love white shorts. Just gotta get into that Legend of the Five Rings, dude. That's probably white shorts is probably my main game right now. If, if I were to say like in order, it'd probably be white shorts and magic. Well, let me tell you, after tonight's performance, I don't even want to play it anymore. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, man. It was a bad night, man. This is a good clock to draw follow up to uh, Cards in Hand episode 16, I think. Oh, it was perfect. Absolutely, I'm so butthurt right now. I lost seven games in a row tonight. I didn't win a single time tonight, and I'm really, really bummed out right now. I think I'd be pretty bummed, too. I was actually pretty bummed. I think I'm always bummed when I put money on the line. Yeah. You know? Oh, mister, we should do we should do paid tourneys. See? Well, I mean, that's I, I mean, I, I put money down going into it knowing that I'm going to be upset if I lose. So, I mean, right. you know, like I said on Cards in Hand, if you guys were watching Cards in Hand, uh, you know, Twitch.tv slash Cards and Hand, man. Get on, man. Hey, man. Uh, if you haven't watched it yet, you know, go subscribe. <laughs> Plug! Anyways, <laughs> like, like I, I mean, you gotta just know what you're getting into. So, I mean, and the thing that, that sucks, too, yeah, exactly, you know, uh, uh, Fear the Shy Guy said, butthurt from Shauna to butthurt from two. Yeah, because two just wins all the time. It's not even fair. I don't know if he's just like, I don't know if it's like, I, I want to say a lot of it's luck, but then like it's, it's the it's it's also in the deck builds he makes and then the way he he does everything kind of really carefully. I don't know, oh. it's really weird. He plays he plays super careful and he lets his deck, you know, do the talking all the time. It's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, yes, I am Sam, Avid White's player and card player. And then we have Joel Morazzo. It was very butthurt tonight. Yes. I'm yeah. sorry. That's okay. It was, it's, it's okay, man. Honestly, though, like, that last match we played, halfway through it, I honestly thought we were playing a for fun match, and I totally forgot about it. Mm -hmm. That's okay. It's That's okay. probably because we played so much. Yeah, that's true. But, like, yeah. There's anyway. always next time. Yeah, there is. There's always next, There's time. Always next time. This is... What? The, I think it'd be fun to do more prizes where, like, I draw or paint something or make something, mm -hmm. and then we could give those out for free tourneys. Or, like, Wait, you don't want to stuff. give stuff like this away? Oh, oh, what, 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 what? Tell you what, the next time I do a box tournament, if everyone lets me win, I will give away the woozer to that person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. No. Anyway, this is uh, this is Clock to Draw, which, by the way, Lindy tonight learned what, when we were teaching her how to play Weiss tonight, I said, you can Clock to Draw, and she goes, oh, that's what the name of your show means. Like, yes, that's exactly what it means. Well, this is episode number six, I believe, and it's January 26, 2014, and it is really, really cold. <laughs> it's going to get even yeah, worse. For, I mean, I'm pretty sure all of our viewers mm -hmm. right now 
Mm -hmm. I mean, live in Minnesota that are watching. A lot of the YouTube viewers, I can't, ex I can't speak for. Right, right. But I mean, those so, of you know right now that it's, it, it know that it's negative six right now and super windy and it's hazy outside. Yeah. Uh, and then tomorrow is is said to be one of the coldest days this winter. I, Actually, it's gonna be. It's I right heard here. negative fifty with wind chill, which is weird. It's ridiculous. I mean, come on, really? right? Really? <laughs> you know, I was looking at our, our at our some of our analytics, and we have like we have people that watch in like um, Thailand, <laughs> which is like weird. Yeah, uh, no, like, I wonder Canada. if that's, like any of my family. Maybe it is because there's yeah. also uh, there's some UK viewers too. Oh, really? Yeah, and they have no idea what it's like. Because <laughs> I, because I have some of my, uh, some of my cousins mm -hmm. from uh, Thailand. I have them on Facebook. Oh well, that would make sense for that then. Because yeah. I was wondering why people in Thailand will watch a couple of white people like us. Yeah. <laughs> talk about a game anyway. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You white, you white. I know that's okay. I'm a little bit white. You're a little bit white. I don't know. You like a lot of everything, but I have like, a little Scottish in me. But you, but, well, you act white sometimes, right? And then I don't know. You're you're just a really weird case. I don't really <laughs> understand what's wrong with you. <laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> should we uh, should oh we talk God. some news or what? Yeah, we got news. I got a, I got a yeah. thing to show. I got the you the can... website up. Okay, sweet. Yeah, you guys know that. You guys know what it is. We got news. I'm gonna we show. Got, I'm gonna show the cards. You want to talk about them? We got pulls them? and reports. All right, dude. Yeah, and we got main topic, which is our sword art tourney that we had today at Level Up. Cool. That's been going on all over, and uh, into that we're gonna go talk about the English meta uh, as a starting a start for an ongoing topic. So let's get into the news, shall yeah. we? Actually, I do. We have two main topics because I think that the one about the uh, about the the Kantai collection is gonna go a little bit. Oh yeah, I kind of I kind of included that as news, but yeah, okay. I mean that, that that might go on in a little bit because okay. that's a little. So here's um, oh, you can totally see my mouse. That's awesome. So there we go. <laughs> you want to talk about these cards? I know you like this card right here. You probably can't uh, see. It, but that's okay. Ryoko Matoi. Yeah, these are the new card she of the is, days. That's gonna be my waifu deck. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking at a kill a kill, the first kill a kill card for the trial deck. It's a. Uh, I think Joel told me it was an accelerate. Yep, it's a thirty five hundred accelerate. Uh, level That's, one, so it's, level one zero cost thirty five hundred accelerate. Yeah, That's it's probably no cost good. because it's only five thousand. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you know what? The art is. It's so nice. It's my favorite art style in an anime ever, next to the rebuild of Evangelion movies. It's really, really nice. I really like it a lot. I love it. I love Kill a Kill. It I love that shit. Favorite huh? <laughs> Nothing. I love that shit. <laughs> oh, um, I freaking love that shit! <laughs> okay, so that's Kill a Kill, and then we also have a Log Horizon uh, trial deck card. I haven't watched Log Horizon yet. I I probably won't until it's further along. Because it's only like, what, five? It's not that far into it right it's now. It's super fresh right now. It's right. still really fresh. It is. Oh, it's so is Kill a Kill, kill, kill yeah. Kill a Kill is... I I don't know how long that anime is going to be, honestly. I think it's only going to be like a 20 episode, 20 some episodes. Right. Because I'm on episode like 9 or 10 right now. Mm -hmm. And where it's at right now seems pretty like a midway point. Sure. But it's on episode 16 premieres on the 30th. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know. I feel like Y Shorts or Bushy Road won't release a set until it's done. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. These are coming out within the next couple months, so. Huh? These are coming out within the next few months here. I think in the next couple months, because 30th, if I look at the calendar, it's like, oh, yeah. Well, because if, if Kill a Kill doesn't come out in, like, March or April, I'm sure this series will be done by then. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. But, but yeah. uh, anyway, this logger, right, or this the second card here. I don't know why they didn't just include this with the uh, with the first booster that came out, um, the Sword Art one, because this is the same damn thing, isn't it? What? Log Horizon. From what I've read about it, it's the same, basically the same kind of thing. But it's not like the same universe, though. No, but it's it almost dare I say seems kind of like a rip, like a ripoff. 
a little bit. I like I said, I haven't watched it yet, but from the synopsis, it you know everyone gets trapped in the game world, blah blah. blah and there's a veteran player who's really good, and it is he, a novel series too. <laughs> okay, well, he starts a guild called Log Horizon, and um, hence the name of the anime. But I'll, I'll give it a shot. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see on that one. But yeah, so we got some uh, we got kill a kill cards coming out. Uh, hopefully every day now. That'd be really cool. Now, these are not the sets that are doing exclusive trial decks, correct? No, they're not. Uh, no, they're, they're all, these two sets are also not doing the simultaneous. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, Crayon Shin Chan is going to be the um, the set that comes out. The trial deck is all trial deck. Like, there's no cards in the trial deck that are going to be in the boosters. And vice versa. Damn. Which is a good way to make people buy trial decks again because I guess people weren't doing it anymore. <laughs> so Fear the Shy Guy says, hey, that means SAO is a rip off dot hack. No. It kind of is. No. SAO's better. Well in dot hack sign though, it was only one character who couldn't log out. But dot hack sign was more virtual than anything. It was a lot of hacking virus crap. Like it was weird. You know what I mean? Mm. And that's all yeah. a rip off of the Matrix. Which was a rip off of Dark City. Which was a... No, uh, we can keep uh, going. Let's just keep going, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> I wish I could show that clip of why we think that's so funny. Oh, God. Yeah. If anyone's ever seen a, a Goofy movie. The first one. Yeah, well, a Goofy movie, not... A, and the only extremely Goofy movie is the second one, that's right. A okay. uh, Goofy movie at the end during the, um, during the live <laughs> wire. That's his name, right? Live wire. No, right. uh, power line. Power line, live wire. They go Jesus to the, yeah. Christ. It's like this pop star. They go to his concert and they're and Goofy and his son Max sneak in. They're and during the part where the song's going, Goofy uh, like breaks into like this changing room. There's this huge like fat lady changing, right? <laughs> and it's just the look on his face when she's look. Oh, it's apps. It's unbelievable. She he does this. He does this. This is what he does. <laughs> 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 like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you can't do it, I know. No, no, it's it's, for Tempest hilarious. is like his ear, right? Like yeah. his long, floppy dog ear. He does this. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, whatever. So every time we make that noise, that's what we equate it to, and we bust out yeah. laughing. Oh, oh God. <laughs> yep. Okay, other news. <laughs> Um, Love Live is out, the second one. Oh, yeah, Love Live. Oh, and the new... Oh, that's right. I, you know what? I'm unprepared. Um, The new foils are out, obviously. Now. Oh, yeah. That's actually some news. Can you pull one of those up, or do you not have it set up? I don't have it set up, but I can look for it. Okay. I mean, I it. like, hollows, are, to me, are almost... Uh, I, I like them. If I ever... Like, if I could just afford to, like, hollow out anything, I would. Right. But... It's it's not to that point where I would hollow out my whole deck like because I know in Pokemon, the thing about Pokemon was uh, every. I don't remember when they started doing this. Maybe it was Diamond and Pearl and on, mm -hmm. but every every card comes or every booster pack comes with a rare and a reverse hollow, right? And that reverse hollow could be anything, so you could possibly get two rares in the pack, which was kind of cool. Yeah, um, but there were people out there who would hollow out their own deck. Sure. They would print. They I mean they would print these booster packs, you know, enough where that they you could do that. You know, I mean, somebody could do that. Um, but I remember, I remember a guy. This one guy, Andy, who played. He like, you could have a hollow of one trainer, you know, just some random trainer, and he'd be like, "I'll trade you like a like two rares for that." Mm -hmm. And then I, I would do it because I was like, "That's how I made Trisha's uh, Ampharos deck." But I don't know. Um, Is it an XR? Heaven's Blaze. I, I don't think I don't think the Love Live ones are XRs. I thought uh, Miku was the only one that had. Um, What's XR mean? It was like a new classification, but the 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 sign Miku I pulled from the trial was an XR. Oh. Um, I thought that Love Live wasn't doing XRs. I thought it was like another set of anyway. But I, I, I gotta find the picture. But um, so the way that obviously Weiss is doing it now is that every pack is going to have oh. I'm like showing stuff off that it showing pushes. What the hell is it? I don't know where it is. I'll find it. 
Um, but anyway, so so the rares are going to be foil. Yeah. All of them. Right? All of the rares? I thought it was a, uh, run, one rare per pack. Yeah, here so it's it is. like Vanguard. Or? Here it is. I found it. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sh I'm gonna send this to you right now so you can look at it while we look at it. How's that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, sent. Okay. So what we got going on here? This is gonna work. This is gonna work. Uh, this is an example of the new foil system. So the card on the left is this new like glittery hollow. And those are just the shiny rares, right? Oh, it is an XR. Okay, so the sign card is that what sign cards are? Yeah, yeah. Well then I then I sound stuff. like an idiot. So so yeah, so there's the XR which is the normal, right? It's the sign hollow. And then there's these like glittery ones. Which damn it <laughs> I just Oh, I don't want weird patterns on my foil in Weiss. I just don't. Yeah. I really, really don't. And now they actually have... I don't. You know, maybe I dreamt this last night. It's entirely possible, but I swear to God I saw a picture of, um, of a card that had a really weird pattern behind it, and I did not like it whatsoever. Um, it had, like, a hexagon pattern on the back, and it just reminded me of Vanguard or Buddy Fight or... Anything that's really distracting and ugly, as far as foil goes, yeah, I just don't like it. Yeah, do not like it whatsoever. I uh, I much prefer regular ones. Yeah, uh, just nice and shiny, I feel and clean art. Because I, you know, I like clean art, you know, and that's why I liked Weiss in the first place. Was the art's really clean and nice and right? Yeah. I'm gonna grab my box here, actually. Well, you got some, you got some foil in there. Uh, no, but I did have a, an extra poll I wanted to include in my polls and buys. <laughs> oh, for sure, dude. What, what, but, um... What did you uh, get? Yes, actually, uh... Um... Yeah, anyways. What else do we got for news? Well, the oh, Kanti okay. collection. Well, so... Well, we'll go over you that first. And then we'll we'll go over that, right? Because that's kind of a longer thing. I feel like that's going to turn into a longer thing. I don't want to... I don't want to turn away from the... The sword are turning meta stuff though. Oh no no right, but go ahead and go over like what your pulls and buys and stuff were. Oh yeah no and then, yeah and then totally. we'll do that one. Totally totally. Because I have words uh, on that. What the so hell today, did did Bakimano trial knock him with a foil level three? I don't know. I don't think it did. Now I, I I'm mad anyway. I did pull our sweet card. And we so me and Joel will get into more about it later of our, our experience. But me and Joel did play in the SAO turn tournament today. So what I did is I just went and bought a trial deck. <laughs> and then with my two free packs that we got, I, I put some cards from there and that. And one of the ones I pulled was this. Yeah, you jerk. Why? And then he also took a bunch of my cards too, ass. Yeah, I borrowed a bunch of yours for yeah. my tournament. I got mm -hmm. killed with my own cards. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's a good card. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to build probably this and Leafa. Nice. Just so I have an English. Wait, you are going to build it? Probably. Nice, dude. It'd be nice if you had um, an English set. I don't know why. Yeah, and I think it, it might it might be a little bit before I mm -hmm. uh, do that, but... I ended up pulling a double rare in one of my packs that I got tonight. Oh, for real? Yeah. It's not a very good one, but it's, it's a double rare. Um... Um... I bought Love Live, the not the second one, the first one. I got two boxes coming, hopefully tomorrow, but probably Tuesday. So expect an extra set on that. Oh yeah, dude. And I also, for the first time, for the first time, I did do a trade with someone on the Weiss Foreign Community Facebook page. Yep. If you're not a part of that page, you should be. <laughs> yeah. Um. Because it just seems like you should be. <laughs> um, it's, it's a good resource, really. It um, is. It is. There's always people on there. There's so many people from Japan, UK, all over, just part of that page. Yep. Um, and there are always people posting want to sell posts or or whatever, you know what I mean? And, and most of them are always like, oh, I'm going to get rid of this deck. You know, I don't play it anymore, whatever. But sometimes you can, when, this is what I did. What I, I wanted to finish my Evangelion deck and... 
make it a an Ayanami uh Ayanami Shinji deck. And I'm gonna add some weird text to it, but maybe we'll talk about that in a different episode um, when it's done. Uh, but um, uh, the, normally, the store I order from, the online store I order from, I didn't realize this until you know I actually started being part of this community. Is that, that they they up they double charge? So uh, the, yep. the the level three that I wanted was actually ten bucks and not twenty. Right. Yeah, so, they really rip you off on there. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is. So, it's still a, it's still a good place to go for like commons and stuff, right? You yeah, for that. for commons and even single rares. Yeah, yeah. But the card I was looking for was a double rare, and they sell it for twenty on this website I order from. And uh, I, while I did was, you know what, I'm gonna try doing this once and see what happens. And I went on the pa- Facebook page and I said, want to buy this card, one of them, this card, one of them, and four of these and four of these. Right. And and. Adding that all up on the website, it it almost equated to like sixty bucks with shipping. It would have been seventy something. Right. And I was like, I can't do that. You know, I just maybe later. You know, but not this paycheck. You know, I'm not going to do that. Um, I when I posted it on the Facebook page, someone messaged me and he was like, thirty bucks for all this. And I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, Heaven's Blaze just says, "Do you Tay?" And yeah, you're right. But then you got to find like a proxy uh, way to, you know, have it sent here. Right. Right? I'm not wrong. Right? Oh, yeah. You, you yeah. is the one where you need... Like, where you a, need a, yeah, you need, a, you need a proxy buyer because you know. Utah doesn't ship to America. Right, and so right. while you're right that the Japanese prices can't be beat, you still, you know, unless you know somebody, you end up spending just about as much on a, like See, a proxy. That's, that's almost why I didn't feel bad about buying the, the first level 3 when I bought them. Mm-hmm. Because I, I Akimoto, felt like... Yeah. Yeah, you scared. That's yeah. one. Yep. Yep. Um, that's the that's probably the main one. He's the guy who runs the foreign community yep. too. Um, but what I didn't that's why I didn't feel bad about it is because I felt like by the time I had gone through all the stuff, you know, paying him and him paying whatever, I would have spent about fifteen or sixteen bucks. So I just paid the twenty for it. Plus, I was putting in an order for some other stuff, so I just got it all. But I mean. Ten dollars for eighty cards? Never mind. I feel like an idiot now. Wow. <laughs> Um. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Weiss Foreign Community is awesome. That's my poll and report. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyway, Joel was talking about this the other day, and yeah. uh, I, I thought it was really weird uh, when he told it to me because I didn't even realize I wasn't looking at it. But uh, Kantai Collection has like a has like a huge set <laughs> well so first it's just a weird set anyway because it's a online card game that bushy road is making a set out of for their physical card game <laughs> right it's like really weird right it's, it's just super weird to me um but i'm like looking through because i always look through the actual description of know what's in the what's come what, how many cards are in there blah, blah blah yeah and there's 180 cards in the set that's a lot right so i'm thinking like oh so is it like a that's, in, that's like an extra 60 well no usually they have a hundred yeah that's like an extra 60 cards then that's like a hundred yeah. that's an extra 80 oh you, it's 180 cards yeah. i think it's 160 no 160 come in a box because it's uh, it's it's eight cards per pack, twenty packs per box, one hundred and sixty cards in a box. The set has a hundred and eighty. That is so. Because like when I was when I first read that, I was thinking like, wow, is this like, is this like a you'd, special set? You'd almost have to buy. Yeah. Like five or six boxes before you can even get a. No, because you know what? Look at it this way: in sets that have a hundred cards, I buy two boxes and don't get one of every card doesn't happen you buy four boxes maybe you get one of every card that's for a hundred this is almost double that this is 180 cards you're gonna have to buy you're gonna have to buy singles on this one i mean there's just really no other choice yeah it's not it doesn't make sense to buy unless like i said unless i'm wrong here unless this is not translated properly or because it even says 160 more recorded uh Super Dreadnought Booster Pack. That's it. I read that and I thought, 
Oh, is this like a, a, a like a special thing? I, sh I guess yeah. I could just show it. It's like right here in front of me. Here's the here's the Kantai Kantai collection. So I, I, yeah, I know that this is all translated by a machine, so the English isn't proper. But eight cards per pack, twenty packs per box, hundred sixty cards. Please know it's based says you don't get you know one of every card in each box, and this is there are one hundred eighty kinds of cards. This is usually spot on, you know. It'll say 100, it'll say 98, it'll say 102, whatever the set actually has. And this is where things start to get kind of hard to understand. But it basically tells you, see, glitter processing, that's it. I'm not doing the card rarity of rare, double rare from 2014. That's that's what I was, that's the extra, the little, the new foil that they have going on. Yeah. And see, so here's another thing, glitter processing into any double rare plus, this is a rare ship of special design. See, I think that's the... I swear to God, I saw a picture of this. Not of not of uh, Kantai collection, but of, of this new foil. I'm getting completely off track on that one. But, but yeah, it's just ridiculous, man. You're going to have to spend yeah. so much money to get even a playset of this. It's Well, I'm not going to buy that set because I don't play a Kantai collection. But... No, and you know what? We can't because it's in Japanese, so. Right. <laughs> I'm going to skip this one because I, I don't have thousands of dollars to drop on getting a place out of this, you know? Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I'm just not going to do it. I, I don't believe... And see, to me, this it's, it's kind of a douchey move. You know, it's it's a really dick move uh, by Bushy Road. I don't know what they're... Why not have the set and then an extra booster? Like, why, why couldn't yeah. we have done that? That would have made so much more sense. But to release a set with 180 cards is a dick move. It is. It's a really dick move. I don't like it. It is pretty, it is pretty butts. I don't agree with this. I don't like it. I, I want nothing to do with it. I don't care if it's the best set out there. It's just weird. Again, you know what? This could all change tomorrow. I could be completely wrong about this one. Um... I mean, yeah. I guess if I were buying it, I'd probably be a little more upset. But, I mean, even so, that's just, like, now I'm afraid that they will do that for future sets, maybe. Well, right. That's why I'm so mad, because there, yeah. there's a term, and it's slippery slope, right? Yep. It's like, how often can they do this to get away with it? Um, right. And then that that's, that's the norm, you know? If they start having 200-card sets, I'm probably not going to buy boxes anymore. I just, I won't do it. Heaven's no Blaze says, you were talking about the people who made Buddy Fight. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I guarantee the Buddy Fight sets don't come like this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't want I've it. I've never really liked Bushy Road's box ratios in the first place. No. They're just dumb. Yeah. You'd have to buy... I remember when I bought a box of uh, a Vanguard box to get this one uh, card. It was a triple rare, mm -hmm. and you need four of them. Okay, you need you need two or uh, actually you need you probably only need like two or three of them. But I mean, still, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. it was just like I bought one box, only got one. Well, you one for that clan, and then one for the the one awesome triple rare for the other clan. And it was just like, whatever. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, you could have been like us at the buddy fight release and uh, bought out the whole box of buddy fight to not get a buddy rare. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That's just butts. I would like call and complain. We were all really pissed because the only reason we kept buying cards is because it's like, who's going to get the buddy rare? Oh, right. Like, right. Oh, I want it. Right. No, none of us got it. We all lost on that one. <laughs> thanks a lot but anyway yeah, it's, I thought that was this was something I wanted to talk about for like a while actually I just kept forgetting about this Yeah. ever since they released this info I've been kind of like what the hell you know what's going on here so who knows we'll see when it comes out in March late March so two months Two months. Two months until Kantai collection comes out. And we'll see what's going on there. I don't like it. None of us like it. I think it's stupid. Like it like if any set to do this with, they should have done it with like fairy tale. 
you know, make that stuff even more expensive than it actually is now. Yeah. So anyway, moving on, shall we talk about the SAO tournament? Yes. I hated every minute of it. <laughs> <laughs> Worst night of my life. Yeah. I lost a lot of manhood tonight. I really did. And I lost a lot of rounds tonight too. I lost every uh I lost every match except the last one with you. Yep. Um Right now you're watching the two losers. <laughs> I feel like the um, second round was, was a little more bogus. Um who'd you play second uh, round? Uh Alex, I think. Oh, it literally came down to who's going to cancel first. Isn't that just about every... Uh... Right, but I mean, it was like... It, it was just like I had a better setup, so I feel like... You know what I mean? Like, right. I I got set up quicker than he did, you know? Mm. I got everything I needed quicker than he did, and something still went wrong, you know? Right. But yeah, I mean, it's whatever. Uh, I lost the first match, and once you lose oh, the no, first one... Oh, no, 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 shoot. Everything is gone. Eh, nope. Where did you go? Where did everyone... There we go. What Sorry, happened? Look, I minimized Skype like a stupid idiot. Oh. Um, we are getting made fun of in chat room for all the salt right now, and I, you know what, I, I'll take it. I deserve it tonight. <laughs> we were a little salty tonight. That yeah. was a really, really horrible... Uh, it was a bad night for us. Right. It was just kind of poopy. Um, <laughs> yeah. I wish I had even at least gotten second. So that way, I could have got two more packs. But yeah, um, yeah. Which I guess it didn't really matter because Don gave me both of his extra two packs because he was like, "I don't want any of these." Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. What'd you get? Anything else? I don't remember. <laughs> hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, um, it it begs the question of you know. No, it's not how you get better, Heavens Blaze. <laughs> Tonight was just bad. Improved. Tonight was just bad for me. Get Salty and Reflect and Prove is a pretty good formula. No, though, it but... is, but I'm just saying tonight was bad. Yeah. Like, it's it's a downer when, like, you can't, when you don't win a single game. It's just like, oh, my God, it's just a bad night. Even right. even, it, even all the free play games I did tonight, seven games I lost. Seven. Four or five. No, maybe six. I don't know. It's a lot. It was a lot of games. It's just... And against, like, trial decks. You know? It's just like, <laughs> Jesus, man. Come on. Yeah, give me you something. With my slightly modded trial deck. Give me something. I know. We all have those days. Exactly. This was just yeah. one of those days. It just happened to be the day of a tournament and the day of a clock to draw. Right? Where it's like, God, yeah. now I gotta come on this show... And try to not be in all in a bad mood, right? I got to love Weiss all of a sudden. God, it's just a bad day. I, uh, what I did was I bought a trial deck, because I don't have any SAO cards. Right. I bought a trial deck, and I, I with the two packs I got in the beginning, I put some of the stuff in there. I borrowed some of Joel's cards, because he had bought in two boxes. So I ran the, uh, I ran the Black Swordsman, level three Kirito. And then I ran the, um, the Austin's commanding strength, and then ran the cards that changed into her. Mm -hmm. Well, two of them come with the trial deck, so there's right. that. Right. Um. Uh. So then they run the events that that change her into that, which is cool. Yeah. Um. Summoning to whatever, whatever or something. That returning one. to the returning front line. to front line. No. Yeah. Is it? Oh yeah, that's what it is. Yep. Where they go? It's like they go back to the latest floor, you know. Yeah. Um. It actually worked out for me. I was able to pull that off every game except the first one. Um, Austin's really cool. Like, I really like Austin, especially at level 3. Um, the level 3 Austin's badass. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, dude. Uh, I, it makes me really want to build for my English deck and really want to build uh, Austin Alifa. Yeah. Or, or I might even build, like, Power Couple. I don't know. That's what I, I ended up building, and now I want to take that deck apart and restart because it it didn't work for me. But there's like there's a lot of options with SAO, I, I think, mm -hmm. which is which can be crazy, you know. Yeah. One set by itself, you know. That's true. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. You know, it's it's funny because I almost feel 
SAO is like an older set for me now. You know, like right. I mean, I, there's all right. these newer sets, and um, I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's not as good as the, some of the newer sets now. Really? It's, yeah, kind of. Actually, I don't know. They just still have. I just haven't played it in a while. Maybe that's it. It feels old to me now. I don't know. I mean, it did come out in, like, the summertime. Yeah. came out, like, in July. But, I mean, anyway, I, I mean, it, it, it begs the question, like, how it affects the meta. And by meta, I mean, like, the English meta. Because, uh, let's be serious, like, Madoka, Magica, like, I mean, do you think... I love uh, the Madoka Magica set. Ooh, it's really good. I, I really do like it. But, I mean, do you think a green... Your green yellow Madoka deck could could beat, uh, let's say like an all red Sao deck, Ooh, or even a know, power man. couple deck. Maybe a but power couple. I don't know. That's a good question. I want. I mean, I just want to say this. Like, I mean, because here's the thing. Um. The the thing is. Is uh, you know, as some of these these more English white sets come out, you know, Bushy Road is going to start to hold official English tournaments. Yeah, which might suck because then they won't hold any of the Japanese tournaments over here like they have been. Wow, um, that's a good point. Actually, that's a whole another thing too, isn't it? That's a whole another thing we might have to talk about. Well, can't they just do like Neo Standard or what is it where you can do both? Just yeah, Neo Standard. Yeah, you can't can... they just do both? Your deck has to be all one language, but you can play both either way. Right, order. that'd yeah. be fine. I'd be okay with that. I feel like since so many American players invest so much money and time in Japanese decks anyway, yep. they should allow that. Yep. Um, plus, when it gets to Worlds anyway, that's what's going to have to happen. Yep. You know, um, you because I mean you're going to have different language cards and everything. You know, World J D WGPs from Magic have that. Right. You know, so. Um, that's why they even allow in Magic, they allow some of your deck to be Japanese or a different language, mm -hmm. you know, so as long as you know what it does or have a translation for it. Um, because they know that, you know, at, at a PTQ or a WGP that it's not going to matter. You know what I mean? Right. But anyway, I, I would, it, it's, it's, I want to look at some cards here and I, I wanted to pick at um, SAO a little bit just because, the, um, I mean, Monica Magic has some interesting options for sure. But I think the the definitive way to go is probably green. Oh, there's no question. Green is amazing. Um, I played it the other day. You let me play yours, and it was green yellow, and I was just killing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Um. But. Um, Sao seems to have a lot of crazy different options. Uh, yeah. So I didn't like just, green in Sao for the longest time, and now I kind of like it. Right. But not right. not by itself, obviously. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I, you could... I don't know if you'd be able to do it by yourself. By there's itself. not enough good green cards. There's a couple good green cards, but there's not enough, like, enough to run a mono green. Like, in, in, in Madoka, you can run mono green just fine. Right? And there's so much good stuff. But yeah, you know what? Blue is a good color in Madoka, too, actually. I really like Saika. In, uh... Oh, what what what's the Saika's what's that got level three Saika do? I, I don't actually. I don't even run the level threes. <laughs> I run the I run the change, the level. It changes into the level two mermaid witch. Remember the, the oh that's the that's ten k. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, and, but you can also you can pick that or um, uh, is. Uh, uh, I can't remember what it is, but it's the 9500 level 2 Saika. can't remember what it's called, but anyways, anyway, that's... Well, then there's that... Then there's that level 1 that changes into Saika Hollow Eyes. That's the one, but it's not called Hollow Eyes. It's in English. It's, um... No, I can't think of it. It's right there. Yeah, oh yeah, um... I don't know, whatever. All your characters gain a thousand during your opponent's turn. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty damn nice. See, this is weird because it's like a faux change because it's just like pay one, put it in the waiting room. Mm -hmm. When I've been such a fool, when I've been such a foolish place in your climax zone, you may pay cost. If so, choose a mermaid witch or psycho battling while hunting in your waiting room. And that's one it was uh, psycho battling while hurt or something like that. 
Yeah, because it wasn't. It was. It's not a change. It's just like that's the ability. Well, right. I I but call it a change. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like that. Yeah, it's pr- pretty much like a change without calling it that. Um. That's crazy, though. I mean. Oh, when this becomes reverse in battle, put put the top card of your library in your clock and rest this. Yeah. yeah. Um. And and two brought something up interesting too. Yes, absolutely. The uh, what Kirito was it? Kirito, the, Black Swordsman, Kirito. Yeah, the level three. Um, the one where you can stand it. When he reversed the character, he stands. Well, there's a it's a what is it like a climax combo? Pay three and drop a card or something crazy like that. It's pay three and clock yourself. Okay, that's what it is. You may pay cost if so. If so, this gains thirty-five and gains the ability. Oh, it can only activate once per turn, though. Yep. Okay. Yeah. But but that's fine. Isn't it a climax combo with dual wield skill or dual wield user? Du- user of the dual wield. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But basically, that um, what what they were saying is because with that psychic card, when it, when it reverses, um, you take a damage. You clock yourself. Yeah. Right, so if you had if you had though if you just one of those Kiritos, uh, you hit for three, and then they take a clock, right, because it kills their character. Stand, hit them for three again, clock. That's eight damage. That is a that is oh. a one round like full clock up, assuming there's no cancel. But that's what he was saying. Right. Oh, okay. And just imagine if you had three of them. <laughs> crazy it'd be impossible yeah, to pay for that much but yeah that's kind of an interesting combo I like that but it, you'd have to be playing you'd have to have you'd, first you gotta be playing somebody with Madoka Magica who's playing yeah, no, yeah, who's right, running right, that right. card that's it's, just it's like a, a dream scenario but it was an interesting thing to talk about though because it's like that that could happen at some point, especially right. if if um if they did English tournaments with just English cards, because what do we have to choose from? We have like Fate Zero, Disgaea, um, and um, Shimiku, Sword Art, and Bakemoto. That's yeah. it. That's just trial. Here's my Bakemoto. I'm kind of sad. I thought for sure this had a, a, a hollow in it, but it. I'm, maybe it's missing. Aren't the level threes usually hollow? Oh, this one's not. That's right. Hmm. The level threes aren't hollow. You know, because like in the in the trial deck box, like the one in the front is the usually the level three, right? Or it's the hollow card, foil card. Sorry, but it's not. Oh, uh, way to go, Bushy Road. I don't think I've played you with that yet. Yeah, once I played it once. Oh. Okay. And yeah, oh, that's right. Say. Love Live is coming out in English. God, that's right. Why did I buy the Japanese cards? <laughs> Look. Why did I do that? Get one, bro, bro. Whatever. I don't even care. But no, like that's why is why is this no hollow bushy road? Your jackwads. Every other trial deck has a shiny. You jack. Except for um, just guy F, I guess. Actually, yeah. Do they? Yeah, Sword Art. Madoka, no. Did Madoka have a hollow? No. Mm-hmm. No, didn't. no. The trial, no. Well, then then never mind. Clearly, I'm on a line here. Clearly, I'm on a line. You are on a line. Yep. But I'm just line. saying, like... Wow, where did we even go with that? Sorry, I have no idea. <laughs> That's okay. Um. The thing is... You know that 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 might be a whole other topic. Of, you know the the fact that they might not let us do Japanese anymore or whatever. But um, the thing is, you know what 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 if there was a an official English tournament going on right now? You know what would you see people playing? You know what I mean? And I feel like right now there is a guy, huh? Like like if it was today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if it was today, which oh, I don't man. think. I think honestly, I think they're waiting till some of the simultaneous release sets come out before they do that. We need more than like five sets, really. 
Yeah, you know. right. Because yeah. it is only Sword Art, Madoka. Fate Zero. Fate Zero. Disgaea, and, which is banned, can't use it, so. Right. Um, and Bakemono. Miku. And Miku, that's right, yeah. Um, I don't know, I feel like Y Schwartz is one of those games where you can just pick whatever, you know? But I mean, if you were talking, if every, because Y Schwartz is such a, a, a pretty laid back game that anybody just picks whatever they want to they play and then they'll just play it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, plus, every set so far has been pretty decent. Um, but if you were one of those guys like, Ooh, oh, don't me. start because I'm going to start now too. <laughs> if you were one of those guys who'd be all like, I gotta win, right? <laughs> what deck would you would you want? Shut up. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> uh, By the way, I want to give a shout out to One Tough Nerd. He actually said one of the best things in chat ever. Because you know, because of the randomness in the chat room, I actually watched the YouTube videos to get a, get a good idea of what the main topic and discussions are. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> See, I like I like that. Chat's a fun place to hang out. Like that's always really right. Cool. Anyway, sorry. I, I wanted to say that before it got off the chat thing. Before, before you forgot. Yeah. <laughs> um, I I feel like people, a lot of people though, if I were to pick, and I don't know a lot about the Bakay Mono English stuff yet, so maybe I I don't know for sure, mm. but a lot of people would play an SAO build. Well, SAO is also the most popular anime that is in right. the English sets anyway, so. <laughs> Heavens Blaze said, rules for deck building in Y Schwartz. Number one, do you like series? Yes. Two, does it have a shiny card for a hot girl? Yes. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Boom. But yeah, um, Bakemon is not coming out till the middle of February for the actual booster boxes. So it's just the trial, which is weird. It's like a month. Usually, yeah. Usually it's been two weeks. It's a little farther away. I'm wondering why. Anyway. But yeah, it's like. Pe well, it's SAO is the thing that English people know about. Right. Like, all, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to sound like a hipster D-bag here, but all of the all of the uh, anime fans out there who only know what SAO is, like, that's like, you know, you know who I'm talking about, right? Like, the kind of people that are like, oh, of course I love anime. I've watched Sword Art. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Those people are what I'm kind of referring to here. Those are the ones who would buy the SAO set. That's why it would be so popular, because there are a lot of people like that out there. Right. Oh, yeah, maybe you've never heard of this. It's called Attack on Titan, right? It's like this crazy <laughs> cool thing. <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> Those people. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. It's Laver Dad. It's Laver Dad. What? Freaking, uh... But yeah, I feel like, I don't know. I think for me personally, I had so much fun with Monica Magica. That's, that'd probably be the set I, I, I'd play. Yeah. Um, even though I just said that I was building SAO. <laughs> um, I love Samurai I mean, X. Shut up. Dude, Samurai X is where it's at, dude. Yeah. The Toe Side of the Manslayer. Oh, when this card oh, attacks, let, let me just, what? Yeah, let me just have the blade so it won't kill you. Because hmm. I'm so awesome. And I'll still win. Damn. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, dude. His blade's on the other side of the so sword, right? Cool, it's like bro. on the back side. Yeah, because he doesn't want to. Yeah. He doesn't want to be a manslayer anymore. Yeah. Veroni Kenshin. Oh my god. I remember one episode of Veroni Kenshin. Sorry, sidetrack. I know, sidetrack. but it's okay because it's it's about Veroni Kenshin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember one episode of Veroni Kenshin. He was on this big fight, and it was before he fought uh, Shishio. Mm. And he was fighting some dude. I forgot what it was. But he was about to go at him and just, like, do, like, this, uh, you know, he 10 Mitsurugi style, like, upside down awesome slash thing. Sure. And he turned his blade around. And he was like, it's, maybe it's time that I become Batosai the yes. Manslayer again. And I was like, oh, hell no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, and didn't he stop at, like, the last second, too? He turned it around, like, at the last second. Or yeah. something, yeah. Like, or he stopped or something. It was crazy. But I watched it on Toonami, so they had cut out like the, the oh, awesome part. Oh, sure. When I was a young warthog, and I was just like, "Damn it!" I always wanted to just have him just start slicing people. It's like, oh god, just do it. Like you I know, think, you want to. This guy's a. This guy deserves it, right? Right, he did. 
And like, if you ever watched, I don't know if you ever watched the the movie, the Samurai X movie, the the mm-hmm. the prologue one, yep. where he was the Manslayer. Yep. That was the animation of that was almost so creepy to the point where it was just like it was so messed up to watch Kenshin slice people and right. just kill people. It was really scary, and it was it was this new style, you know, because Roroni Kenshin's kind of an older, you know. Oh yeah. Um, but th- this was like in the in the late '90s or early 2000s when this movie came out, and that's when the style started becoming slick. You know, it was a movie, so it had to be slick, you know. And it was produced by ADB, which is one of my favorite anime companies until they went bankrupt. Um, but that was a crazy movie. It was awesome, and it showed like how he got the scar and everything. It was cool. Um, Live action two and three in the making. Oh yeah, the, the live action Ronnie Kenshin movie. I haven't watched it yet, but I heard it was badass. What? Oh yeah, you never, you never saw it. No. Oh yeah, I wanted to watch it. We should, we should, we should watch the trailer after this. Okay. Yeah, you should. Anyway, but anyway, how this all ties back into Weishwartz? They need to make a flipping Rooney Kenshin set, please, please, please and then a Samurai X extra booster, please. They should. Okay, you know what they should do with extra boosters? What? Call it they Samurai should. Extra Booster. Get it? Because Samurai oh, no, oh, nice. Come on! Pay attention, Bushy Road. Anyways, listen. They should do this thing where they they every once in a like blue moon they go yep. back to yep. some you know awesome anime that made a, a mark in the anime world and print like an extra booster set of it. Cowboy Bebop would probably be one of them. Cowboy Bebop. For uh, attention. Helsing, please a Helsing, please. Oh my please. God, Helsing! Helsing would be red, obviously. Why not? It'd be so dangerous. All the card. Do you have my Helsing? What did I borrow that to? I don't. I don't. I have the first two mangas, and I, I've only seen a couple episodes of the main series, and I watched the first two Helsing Ultimates, which to... were like solely based on the manga, so it's kind of just like whatever. Oh, I think it's sitting up there. I have to make sure after this, because I don't ever want to lose that. Trigun, that's another one, yeah. Oh, Trigun, yeah, that'd be another one. No, not Helsing Ultimate. It's garbage. The original Helsing. I... I almost wish that they made... And Summer Wars came out when Weishwartz was a thing still. So mm. they should have made a Summer Wars like exclusive deck or extra booster. I love right. Summer Wars. It's such an amazing film. And like even if you're not an anime lover, that film is just amazing as a movie by itself. But um, a Weiss set for the Weiss anime. <laughs> Super meta. You want to talk about the meta game. Weiss, Weiss set. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Love it so much. Anyway, uh, you were. I'm. Just, I totally sidetracked you on that one. I'm so no, sorry. I'm just, no, it's my bad. My bad. Go um, on. Well, like I'm saying is, you know. Uh, anyways, Bushiro, pay attention. Yeah, yes. listen to okay. us, you idiots. Um, <laughs> I gotta go. Hold on one second. You keep talking. Where are you going? No. No. He oh, I'm here. Oh, okay. Anyways, I had to like, go I, grab something. Um, I'm just saying, like you know, I. SAO and Madoka are pretty up there, I think. Fate Zero was kind of a weak set, and I don't know. Oh, what I about. hate it. You bought like two boxes of I it. Did. <laughs> I, did. I don't like I it. I don't know. Oh, oh is go. it flipped? It's flipped again, isn't it? It's mirrored. Ready? Whoa! That's so cool. dope. God, would you look at that? Just, wah, dude, he was that so cool. Priest guy, man. Yeah, I, he can't, I can't remember what his name was. He was, he was messed so up. awesome. He's on the back, too. God. Oh, yeah. Sorry. You're the shy guy said, I'd say it's up to Ghibli stuff, man. <laughs> oh, dude. What if oh, did? Summer Wars. Oh, they're talking about Summer Wars. Yes. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, F8 Zero, maybe. That might be like one of those decks. That, there might be that roguish player, you know, like a spike player. Or a Johnny Spike player that would play that, right? You know, well, we know um, people that play Fate Zero, but it's it's got extra boosters mixed in, and oh, it, it's right. really good. Yeah, Kai, he's one of the ones that plays. Um, he's play Hollow Atraxia. Kai, oh yeah, Kai, yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's really it's a good set too. But it is Fate Zero by itself. I don't think is very good. It's okay. I don't right. have I don't have it assembled because it was garbage for me. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, exactly. If they release Fate Stay Night for the English, Fate Zero would be good. That's yeah, what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. I've definitely played a couple people who uh, 
Kaisen being one of them who had Stay Night and Zero. Yeah. Unlimited Blade Works? God, so broken. <laughs> <laughs> I know. UBWLP? Maybe. Yeah. But, like, anyways, uh, I, I feel like, uh, you know, it's kind of a weird discussion. I really only wanted to talk about it because I know this could be an ongoing main topic for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it would start moving its way back to reports and stuff as we play more Y Schwartz here. Right. But, I mean, um, I think that's important to think about and keep in the back of your mind, you know, what English tech you want to have on standby there. Because, um, you know, with the SAO Volume 2 coming out especially, that, that whole meta might change completely. Yep. Because because one of us or somebody we know or even just somebody in Canada or on the other side of the world, whatever, might find some crazy combination with, you know, any of the cards, the previous cards. That's how any card game works. So, I mean, it's just, uh, it's crazy. Yep. So, uh, yeah. So, like, what did we learn tonight? 180 cards is bullshit. Yeah, um, that's, that's, that's what we learned. Um... If you're gonna play in a sword art tourney, don't just buy a trial that can randomly take. Look, I think what I because so piggybacking off of that, if you're gonna play in a sword art tournament, just use your Shana deck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna pick on that all the time now because if it's you're hilarious. playing in a tournament where two is is playing in, you're gonna have a bad time. You even made the comment. You're like, I think I'm just gonna start coming up here and doing box tourneys when you're working. And he's like, yeah. no, because I always, like, you know, make sure I don't work that day. It's like, damn it. Yeah. God. Uh, no, just stay home. Right. Look, I'm just saying, if he gets kneecapped in the next week and he can't show up next week, I'll do a box tourney next week. <laughs> he gets kneecapped. Just kneecapped, <laughs> motherfucker. God. Oh, my God. He knows yeah. love. Yeah, except, you know. <laughs> He wins all the time, which is all. I know, I know. <laughs> Every Tam time. 15 Tam times, dude. Oh my god. I don't know. I had fun. But yeah, that. let's, let's, I mean, just going in, you know, let's keep that in mind for sure. Yeah. Yeah, let's just keep that in mind for sure going into a tournament, you know. Maybe, maybe we don't want to, like, you know, play a box tourney anymore. Because, you know. I'd ever win it. <laughs> and then the, same, the same person always wins it. I'm just saying, you know. That was was that the point? I feel like I'm just bitching now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, if you pull a sign card, give it to me because I paid for a tenth of your box. No, I'm just kidding. That's horrible. That's horrible. And you know what? You know what? Just to just to bring us all back around. Somebody pulled a hollow tonight, and guess who it was? Who? Come on, who wins everything? Oh, two pulled it? Yep. He got the hollow from the SAO box. Whatever. I'm going to a different store. Screw what was it? Uh, it was the Asana half-naked thing on the couch thing. I can't remember what it was. Uh... Oh, don't worry, having the blades, you're not missing anything. <laughs> oh, I love everybody. Everybody's awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, dude. Um, woo! Sorry. Clutch draw episode six on January twenty sixth, two thousand fourteen. Well, it's now it's twenty seventh. Yeah. Well, but it was twenty sixth. Uh, but um, we air every Sunday night for Clock to Draw. The show about Weishwartz, and then we air every Thursday night at 8 o'clock. Four cards in hand, your general card game and tabletop discussion. What sh- Aw, oh, man. That's I know, I know, I know, I know. I was thinking about this the other day. I, I, I feel like, uh... I, I feel like, um... Cards in hand are almost, like, a little better because we can talk more about uh, comparisons to other things, other games, and we can talk about, um, you know, like, hero clicks and right. you know, deck-building games and stuff, and um, chess was another thing I wanted to talk about because uh, I really love chess, actually. <laughs> so, uh, which is weird. I mean, but it's still a board game. It's still a tabletop game. So, uh, chess. Like, okay. Yeah, dude. I don't think that should count on cards in hand. 
Well, maybe not. Okay, well, why don't we talk about book. Checkers or Monopoly next week? Coming up on well, Thursday Monopoly. is Monopoly. Monopoly has some great memories. They used to have Monopoly tournaments, man. You Actually, sunk my battleship. Huh? I said you sunk my battleship. Next week on... Uh, next week on It Cars just sounds man. weird because, you know, a lot of the board games and, and, and tabletop games we play are, you know, really complex card stuff and dice... Whatever. You know, chess is just one of the OG board games, you know, it's like... I suppose. Let's play backgammon, then, if you're talking about old school games. Backgammon sucks. Oh. Is it because it doesn't have wizards and mechs in it that you can't enjoy it? That's basically what you just said about chess. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> He's being <laughs> ass now. I don't know, where's the line there? I mean, I wouldn't count checkers. No, checkers is just... Then why chess? Chess is a lot of strategy, man. Same thing. Checkers? Same thing. No, it's not. Chinese checkers, <laughs> three-way check, four-way checkers. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, I really hope you're joking. I am. So, okay. uh, so I think next week on Cards in Hand, we talk about checkers, uh, Texas Hold'em. I think we should talk a little bit about Yahtzee as well. Uh, Uno? And Jenga. Jenga. I want to talk about the meta of Jenga. Here, Jenga because... Unchained! <laughs> <laughs> I always really love the end of the show. I really, really do. It's always like my favorite time. Like, And you know it's a good one when the music ends and starts again. Like right now. Well, there it is. <sighs> yep. Subscribe to the YouTubes. I don't know where I never know where the time there it is. Okay. Twitch.tv slash cards and hand MN, Facebook.com slash cards and hand MN, YouTube.com slash cards and hand MN, and Twitter at cards in hand M and the capitals do not matter in any When we upload the episodes of anything, share them, like them, and hit the subscribe button. Please do. If you don't, you're never gonna you know what? If you don't hit that subscribe button, you're not going to know what you're going to miss. That's not going to be streamed. <gasps> oh my god. Did I just did I just say it again? Shit, I did. Oh my god. Oh, what's this? What is this logo doing on the screen? Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, thank come you. Come one, come all up my butt. I'm cutting that part out. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, have an excellent week. We'll see you next uh, week. That's that's weird to say that twice. Uh, this week. This week. We'll Monday. This week, we'll see you next week. And it, it's <laughs> been a good week. So, except tonight sucked. Um, yeah. Thursday night at 8 o'clock, cards in hand, everybody. Thursday night at 8 o'clock, cards in hand, everybody. Have a good night. Have a good night. I'm just gonna